Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am starting with the general toxicology, and this is the first lecture. And we'll try to understand what is toxicology in this lecture. Toxicology is basically a study of the effects of poison on the living organism. This is a broader uh, definition, but we'll uh, understand uh, about the introduction of the toxicology, how the toxicology evolved, about the evolution of toxicology, and what are the principles which are involved in the toxicology. So, toxicology uh, from the word toxico. it means uh, in a latin the poison and another word toxicom which is a greek word and it means the arrow poison so the logia as we know that is the study of the science so this means the study of poison study of uh, various drugs or chemicals in broader sense the poisons so toxicology is the study of uh, poisons on the living organism and it's a branch of science when we define the toxicology is that branch of medical science which deals with the poisons with reference to not only their origin and properties but also the symptoms which they produce so it's complete study of the poison from where it has been evolved produced origin and what are the properties with within it and what will be the effects signs and symptom which it produces when it is uh, affected on the uh, humans whether it is ingested whether it is uh externally used or internally used so it also includes the lethal dose and its fatal results because various remedies and various measures have been used uh, to determine its lethal dose its fatal results and all the drugs and chemicals they are used because we know that there is a very uh, fine distinction between the poison and the drug because anything can be poison and anything can be used as drug depending upon its dose when we talk about the history of uh, uh, this toxicology the name which comes is the bonaventure orifilla commonly named as orifilla he was born in 1787 and died in 1853 he was basically a spanish toxicologist and chemist and he uh, is often called as father of toxicology because he the first uh, he was the first person he uh, basically described toxicology as a separate science and the 19th century the component of forensic medicine was emerged that means the toxicology with the forensic medicine it was evolved that means the toxicology was considered was accepted as a science in conjunction with forensic medicine so he was the founder of the science of toxicology he put the base of forensic toxicology forensic toxicology and toxicology toxicology is in a broader sense study of poisons but when we talk about the forensic toxicology that means its application its ramification on the uh, human bodies its legal aspects so that's why it was called as forensic toxicology the orifilla he worked to make chemical analysis as a routine part of forensic medicine because he devised various tests various techniques to analyze 
the poisons and he made various studies on uh, asphyxiation in asphyxia in decomposition of the bones in exhumation so in all these various aspects of forensic medicine he analyzed various toxics so this was the great job and orifila also discovered detection of arsenic in the human body solutions he published the first scientific literature on the detection of poison and their effects on the animals and this was the work which was established as a forensic toxicology and it was a legitimate science it was a great effort because he worked hard to get it recognized he made so many research he detected various poisons he uh, uh, discovered their effects on the human body and that's how the forensic toxicology evolved he wrote many books but his first book he was uh, he had written was in 1815 and in this he stressed the legal implication that is the legal part and he devised the various analytical procedures for the detection of the poisons and this book was the basis for all future experimental and forensic toxical toxicological evolutions this was the base and like all other sciences so many sciences toxicology was recognized as a science and it has got many disciplines which was which were evolved later on like environmental toxicology occupational toxicology clinical toxicology veterinary toxicology and forensic toxicology and you can understand the environmental toxicology that means there are very chemical many chemicals in the environment which becomes toxic to the human similarly working in an industry various occupations there are certain chemicals and poisons which can affect on the human body similarly the clinical toxicology the study of the signs and symptoms on the human body so similarly on the animals so these are various disciplines which evolved so forensic toxicology is that discipline which combines the analytical part of the chemistry with the toxicological principles so that saw the legal implications they were recognized so in order to deal with the medico legal aspects of the to- of the toxicants or the poisons or the drugs chemicals on the human body the forensic toxicology was evolved so forensic toxicology also deals with the medico legal aspects of the toxic uh, uh, toxicants or the toxic effects of the drugs and the chemicals on the humans so that means in a broader sense that the forensic toxicology is the legal aspect of the effect of poisons on the human body and clinical toxicology is the signs and symptoms the effects which are specific to certain poisons and it not only uh, uh, study the signs and symptom but also the uh, various diseases attached with the poison and their treatment also so when we talk about poison or a toxic substance it means any chemical which is capable of producing detrimental effects on the living body that means any damaging effect so any any substance any poison any drug any toxic substance which is capable of producing toxic detrimental or damaging effects on the human body is called as poison thank you very much zakalla